Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all really well. I'm excited about doing this video today. For some of you who have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I've been struggling with back issues for quite a long time actually. Um, and it's kind of really affected my, my cycling, my running, and kind of everyday life to be honest. Um, it's been a bit rubbish and I was really kind of working hard with a physio in Bath and the issue was now because of lockdown, I wasn't able to see him and it was kind of getting worse. Luckily, I've been contacted by a physio, Jeff Twinning, who I'm working with now, and he's kind of supporting me and I'm gonna be doing videos um, about the, the progress and working with him as well and hopefully giving him some really good publicity because he seems like a, a guy who really knows his shit. Um, and I've already seen him once, I saw him last week, and he did some kind of diagnostics and some testing, and we really figured out kind of how to get to the bottom of this, and we've got a process now. And basically, I just wanted to bring you along for the ride today, show you what we're gonna do, and show you, yeah, what's going on. This this channel, like I always say, it's about being transparent, it's about being real. Um, I'm not just gonna tell you about all the highs, I'm also gonna bring you along during the lows and well unfortunately I guess in life there's a lot more lows than highs but um, fingers crossed I can get this sorted and I'm really excited to, to be working with Jeff and I'm gonna head off now to go and see him he's in Strauss it's about an hour drive you know it's not too bad um, but yeah really excited so let's go and do that and let's see what we can do Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jeff Twinning, I'm a Chartered Physio. My background is in um, sport and exercise um, and rehabilitation. And I've had the pleasure to treat your good Harry Palmer. Um, so my background is um, Olympic Games, Commonwealth Games, uh, multi-sport level. Um, so I'm not a sport specific, but I have that ability to look at an athlete in any situation and then gauge uh, what is required to get them either pain-free or injury-free. So Harry's presented with um, an ongoing back complaint, uh, especially on the bike. Seen a few people, you know, it's improved, but never quite got there. So we've stripped him back to his bare minerals and uh, looking at the why and the how, and then how we can then produce, you know, a better body to facilitate the position he's on the bike and then to get off and run afterwards, which is key. So we put Harry through a number of screening tests. He's got the body, of a 45 year old. <laughs> um, so he, he has all the issues that most normal, you know, elite athletes do. So over dominant back extensors, stiff mid back, um, pelvic and lumbar rotational stresses going through. And then obviously over time, these develop into positional problems where you're trying to achieve a position, but then the body's saying no, and then your muscles get tight and become painful. So we screened him and we're slowly working through a process to gain normal back mobility in all planes um, whilst maintaining either hip stability or doing the opposite, maintaining back stability whilst loading the hips. So Harry's had a few exercises to work on, some were quite amusing to start, mm -hmm. um, but even within the last week um, he's made some massive gains which hopefully he can feed back on his um, outcomes. Um, once we've got that we're going to look at strengthening so we can get him into a sport specific position um, whether that's running, biking or swimming, all three, and load specifically for the positions required. This is a bit awkward. I ended up getting some shots of Jeff and myself doing some exercises, Jeff talking through the exercises, then me giving them a go and doing a really shit job of it. <laughs> Accidentally deleted them somehow. I don't really know how I did that or why I did that. Uh, it just happened. What I'm gonna do now though, is basically just go through some of the things that Jeff has pointed out. We've stripped it all back. We're working on, yes, loosening and stretching my muscles. We're also working on functional movements. 
and we're working on lifting technique but in the correct way so we're not adding any weight as of yet we will be adding a little bit of weight in the future but we want to make sure my lifting technique is perfect to start with so that i'm using the right muscles and just as a bit of an example when i was squatting i was hinging from my lower back that just puts so much stress on my lower back and my lower back almost the muscles there were just constantly on the whole time like i i trained them to be on the whole time and that was like so bad and that's why it always hurt. Now we're basically trying to train my lower back muscles to be on off muscles, predominantly my squat technique, so that basically I, I learn how to hinge from my hips instead of my lower back. Basically when I was squatting, so I'm gonna try and get in, in the shot, I'm gonna get further away, I used to basically do that with my hips, really kind of like tense my lower back, pull my pelvis back and squat down, and then I used to have like a little butt wink at the bottom, that looks really stupid, I might not put that in. Now I'm teaching myself to pull my hips forward, not too far forward, just like a neutral spine, and then come down, and I'm using, to keep my back flat, I'm using like a broom handle at the minute. This is really helping me kind of like encourage a flat back, so just having that on my back, okay, and moving my hips forward and back, trying to get my back flattish on here, keeping my feet forward as well, and then coming down as far as I can go. I'm sure a lot of you can go a lot further than that. Just trying to force it a little bit and then back up. And then we're gonna progress that by basically doing it without the pole, um, doing it with my hands in front of me, um, loads of different things. Also been working on kind of like a lunge um, stretch, trying to pull my, pull my hamstring, pull my psoas muscles, um, get things like really nice and loose there. Been working on glute bridge, uh, side plank, basically trying to, yeah, strengthen my glutes, strengthen the muscles that support my spine. I'm pretty broken and I need to be fixed. And I'm doing about an hour and a half, so two 45 minute sessions every single day. Um, it's pretty tedious, but I'm pretty positive about it because literally I've been doing it for about a week and I've noticed quite a big difference. I've still obviously got back pain, but I've just felt in everyday life, you know, moving about, everything just feels a little bit easier. Before I finish with this video, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about some developments with the channel, with the podcast um, that I'm doing with Scott Sharp. If you haven't checked that out, please do. It is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and it is on this channel. However, we are just gonna be doing it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts now. We're not gonna be doing a video podcast on the channel anymore. There's been a few reasons for this. One of the reasons is we were using Zoom and it just interfered with the audio. The audio was rubbish and that's kind of what podcast is all about. It's about the audio. And then so we basically set up where we'd record ourselves and it was fine with me and Scott. But actually when we have another participant and a guest on the podcast, we have to ask them to record themselves. Maybe they don't have enough storage on their phone or whatever they're using then they've got to try and send it to us and Sam had some difficulty sending it to us and we basically want to make it as easy as possible for our guest on the channel we don't want to make it difficult for them and that's part of the reason why we're going to do that also because I just feel like people are more inclined to listen to a podcast when they're out running or cycling or in the car when they're doing something else, especially if it's like an hour long, like our last podcast, I don't feel like a lot of people would sit there and watch YouTube video for an hour. And if you do, thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just feel like most of the audience would prefer it just as audio rather than a visual as well. I really hope you kind of agree with that. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm sure a few of you will be a bit disappointed with that, but that's kind of the way that we're going but it still will be available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, I will be mentioning it in the videos that I'm doing and I will also be mentioning every release on my Instagram account. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is videos on the channel. So I've, I've been releasing a video every single Sunday for a while now and like I mentioned I wanted to do two videos and that was the second video was going to be the podcast. We're not going to do that anymore but I still want to keep up two videos a week. So you will get a podcast on Wednesday, a video on Thursday, and a video on Sunday. That is my promise to you. I'm gonna see how it goes. There is a very fine line between quality and quantity. I do not want to lose the quality of the videos. And I basically, I've kind of been in a bit of a rut recently, I guess, with like the quality of the videos. Maybe they haven't quite been as good, and maybe that's why the views haven't quite been as good. I'm gonna try and up that. I'm gonna try and 
try you know different things different filming techniques every single video I'm going to try and make every video better than the last video I do and so I thought actually you know why not challenge myself and do two video uploads a week I'm learning as much as I can at the minute I'm trying to be the best kind of videographer editor athlete I can be and I thought why not challenge myself and I'm going to basically tell you why I'm uh, tell you that I'm doing it so that it holds me accountable and if I do not upload two videos a week you can go uh Harry hang on you promised us that we get two videos a week where is it so hold me accountable I promise you I will do it I hope that excites you it does excite me it kind of scares me a little bit because it's um it's it's going to be challenging but I'll try my best and we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching the video, you lot. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done already, just by clicking over to my right. And if you wanna watch another video from my channel, just click below and I'll see you in the next one.